Hello friends, how are you doing? Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to tell you the reason why KCC will not unlock your DS-260 form for you to update it when you request for that. And again, I will tell you what you should do in that case. But first of all, here is an email sample for requesting the unlock. On the subject, you put the reason, diversity visa inquiry. And then in the body of the email, at the top, you first put your full name. And this is as it appears on the DS-260 form. And then followed by the date of birth, in the American format, starting with the month, then the day and the year. And then you put your full case number without leaving out the leading zeros. Put your full case number. And then, dear KCC, I'm writing to inquire about my diversity visa application. My full name is, you put your full name there, my date of birth is, you put your date of birth here, and my diversity visa case number is, you put your diversity visa case number here. And then you write briefly and simply explaining the reason as to why you unlock the DS-260 form. And then you say, I'm writing to you because I made a mistake on my DS-260 form. If you are the principal applicant, you say my DS-260 form. But in case it is the DS-260 of your beneficiary, maybe your wife or your kid, you say on my child's DS-260 form or if it's your spouse, my wife's DS-260 form or my husband's DS-260 form. And then after that, you put their full name. Full name. And then you give the reason as to why you want it unlocked. I accidentally misspelled my name or your beneficiary's name or your child's name or whichever error that you did. I have attached a copy of my passport for the correct name. You simply give that information. And then that is that about the email. But remember, you're sending this email to the email kccdv at state.gov that is the email for KCC and that is the email to send to why will KCC not unlock your DS-260 form when you request the only time when KCC will not unlock your DS-260 form is after your case has become current and they have transferred your details to the embassy. At that point, your information or your DS-260 form is not under their authority, is not with them. And therefore, they can't access it to unlock it for you for the update. And in that regard, they will send an email response back to you telling you that the, your DS-260 form is not under the authority to unlock it. And they will tell you, you can write to your embassy and request them to unlock for you to do the update. So that is the only time when they are not able to unlock it for you. At any other time, 
your DS260 is under their authority, they will not hesitate to unlock it for you. But remember this, that once you write to KCC to request the unlock, Sometimes it might take some delay, especially during peak days. If they are busy, it might take some time. It normally takes between one day and around two weeks for them to respond to your email request. So when you send that request, you need to be patient. They might open it in a day's time or in two days time, or in a week's time, or in a fortnight's time, or it might even sometimes take some times longer. But you need to be patient. Now, what are you supposed to do if KCC can't unlock your DS-260 form and they have requested you that you need to contact your embassy for that? So what you need to do is to write the same email to your embassy, requesting them to unlock it for you. And I've heard of complaints from my followers of them writing to their embassies, their respective embassies, for them to unlock for an important update, but their embassies would not respond back. There might be a reason. Maybe you might have used a wrong email. Sometimes you might write to them and they are busy or that email is not active. So the first thing you need to do is to find the correct email that handles such cases, the diversity visa cases. You get the correct email and use the correct email. And there's no reason as to why they won't communicate back to you after you've sent them that request. They must respond to you if you have used the correct channel. So ensure you get the correct channel. And ensure that you explain your information well. Why you want them to unlock your DS-260 form you must give a brief explanation to your embassy for them to do that. In the case they are not responding, also find the direct contact, the customer care contact of your embassy and call them to do a follow-up. Contact them directly to do a follow-up on that. But if at all they can't unlock or if at all they have not responded, what you need to do is to wait for your interview date. And during your interview, there is also a chance to update. And you will explain it well. On that first desk where you submit your documents, that is your proof documents at the interview and let them do the necessary update on your case. You need to tell them that you send the email. Also, print the proof of that email. Have the printed proof of the email that you tried to reach out to the embassy but they could not respond. And again, explain your self well let them update it before you move to the other desk where the exact interview is done so guys i think i've handled just about everything that i needed to handle in this video but there might be something that i've not touched on if you realize that please don't fail to write a comment and include that question i will come back and answer that question so thank you guys for sticking around, get informed. Please consider liking the video because your likes, they favor the algorithms. And also subscribe to the channel if you have not. And if you can support the channel, please do it. Let's meet in the next video.